this, this is not gonna fit my head. I got a pretty big head. I'm not sitting in the chair? Probably a bad idea. You know, I am a real fisherman. What's the one thing nobody tells you about pitching an investor? The one thing people don't tell you about pitching an investor is often people pitch the absolutely wrong person. You know, when people come to me with clothing lines, they line up to pitch me with clothing lines. But if they really did their homework on me, they would understand I have 10 clothing lines and two of them are dead. That's the last thing that I ever want in my life is another clothing line. Find out what they are looking for because talking to an investor, number one, that doesn't want to be in the business is a waste of your time. And talking to an investor that knows nothing about your business is actually worse. You've just given up a certain percentage of your company to people that cannot help you in any other way. Uh, oh, I'm good at what I do. Oh, maybe not as good as I thought. Oh, wait, I think I got that. <laughs> Gotta celebrate the small accomplishments. What's the biggest business mistake you made and what did you learn? Not having financial intelligence when I started my first business and what did I learn? I learned that I wasn't that bright because I would go ahead and make that same mistake five times all the way till the time when I actually did have significant amount of resources at risk. And I realized that financial intelligence is key. Every single transaction that happens, somebody makes money. Will it be you? And if you know how money operates, then you're gonna be able to make much wiser decisions. All right, what do we have here? Another one. I'm really enjoying this. I might get this in my house. How do you get over the fear of failing? Well, half the time is by failing. True entrepreneur and entrepreneurs, they act, they learn, and then they repeat. They fail small, they fail fast, and there are failures that they can recover from. Almost got it. Man, these little green ones are the hardest ones to get. You know, that's exactly failure, you see? You gotta find another way to go around it. There you go. Look what I did there. What would you tell someone who worries it's too late to start over? Don't just drop everything, burn all the bridges and start over. Put a small investment in starting over. You know, 10% of your time, 20% of your time. Uh, get some new people around you. Start uh, going to different places that you've never gone to before. When I decided to start over, um, I was at the lowest part of my life. I was working at Red Lobster, I didn't go to college, and I said to myself, you know what, I'm gonna sell a couple of hats on the corner. And selling hats on the corner took up 10% of my time, and then it took up 30% of my time, and I started to realize what I love to do, but I did it for five years, but I had to sacrifice. Remember, sacrifice is giving up something of lesser value for something of greater value. Do you know any fish tank jokes? Why did the baby crab not want to share his food? Because he was a little shellfish. <laughs> so, I hope you learned something today. Please consider subscribing to the AARP YouTube channel where there are plenty of more videos like this. <laughs>